I'm warrior. I, I tell the referee, make sure if something accident happen, stop me when I when I'm dying. Don't stop me early. So you know, Aldo is a, is a world class striker, and here he just came in with a really low jab to the body, which is a high risk, low reward maneuver in MMA. And Aldo is going to drop just about anybody. Jose Aldo Jr. It's Murad, the machine. One of the legends of the game takes on a fresh contender at 135 in a fight that would get the winner in very close proximity to the title. The king of Rio, Jose Aldo, takes on Marab, the machine, Davalishvili, at UFC 278 on August 20th. Both men are on winning streaks. Jose Aldo Marab, the machine! And one of them has to lose that winning streak in this bout. Marab's exceptional wrestling ability comes up against Aldo's impeccable striking. This is definitely a matchup to look forward to. So without further ado, we here at Athlete Central are here to tell you everything you need to know about it in this Ultimate Fight Breakdown. Recent fights. Let's start off with the legend and former 145 pound champion of the world, Jose Aldo. The Brazilian was going through a rough three fight losing streak against Volkanovski, Moraes, and Jan prior to this winning streak. Even though a lot of people thought he was robbed against Moraes, it was still a loss on his record. The first victory in his recent run of form was against Marlon Chito Vera, who has gone on a winning streak of his own since losing to Aldo. Jose won the first round, outstriking Vera and managing to land the more powerful shots, looking like the Aldo of old again. The second round was a bit tougher for Jose, and Vera was able to find more success with his strikes as well as amass almost a minute and a half worth of control time. The round really was a toss-up. The third was Aldo's without question. After seeing Cheeto's danger on the feet in the second, Jose opted for a grappling-based approach in the third, controlling Vera on the mat for almost the entirety of the round, essentially becoming Marlon's backpack to claim a unanimous decision win. Aldo then went on to face compatriot Pedro Munoz at UFC 265. This was an exceptional showing for the King of Rio. He was powerful, fast, and looked amazing in the stand-up. Oh, nasty knee land. Despite the fact that Munoz outstruck Aldo in the first round, the majority of Pedro's strikes were leg kicks. In fact, half of his total strikes in the bout were leg kicks. Aldo was a lot more balanced, working the body and landing headshots throughout the duration of the bout. Jose's pressure and power managed to wear Pedro down throughout the round to the point where Aldo outstruck Munoz 47 to 14 in the final round, capping off a 30. 27 decision win. The King of Rio not done yet. We are all witness to Jose Aldo's greatness once when again. When purely looking at the strikes landed, you'd think Aldo lost his next bout to Rob Font, but the fight itself has a very different story. Aldo managed to get a knockdown in the first round despite landing less than Font, who was landing the more powerful shots. This continued in the second and third rounds, with Font landing more and Aldo being more powerful and controlling the cage more, amassing over two minutes of control time in the third round. The Brazilian then proceeded to land a knockdown in the fourth round and control Font for over four and a half minutes. Aldo ended up winning the fifth round as well and cruising to a unanimous decision win. Moving on to Davalishvili, the first top tier competition he faced was John Dotson back in 2020. The Georgian managed to outstrike Dotson and was relentless with his takedown attempts. Marab won all three rounds on all the judges' scorecards, showing incredible cardio and persistence with his grappling attempts. He wasn't able to control Dotson for long, but it was enough to sap the energy out of the smaller man and win the fight. Next came a bout against Cody Stamen, the toughest fight for Marab up to that point. Davalishvili used his wrestling once again in order to pave his path to victory. He landed a takedown and outstruck Cody in the first round, but the second round was much clearer. Marab took Cody down four times in the second, landing 74 strikes to Cody's 19. The third round was much like the first, quite close, and could really go either way. Ultimately, Marab took home the unanimous decision win. His last fight was against Marlon Marais, a real roller coaster. Despite Davalishvili landing a couple of takedowns in the first round, Marais got a huge knockdown and everyone thought Marab was going to get finished, but the machine found a way to survive. In the second round, Marlon was exhausted from trying to finish Marab, and the Georgian managed to land two takedowns and control the Brazilian for over three and a half minutes. Marlon didn't even land a single strike during the round and got finished with half a minute left in the second round. 
He's got that wrist control. Oh, now he's 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 That'll do it. Seven in a row from a Rob Dwellish Willie. Attributes. Jose Aldo is a veteran of the game and the former featherweight champ is currently 35 years old, while Marab is 31, entering the prime of his career. In terms of measurements, the fighters are pretty similar, but Aldo has a slight edge. The Brazilian is 5'7", 1 inch taller than Marab, who's 5'6", and he also has a 2 inch reach advantage, his being 70 inches and Marab's 68. Striking. Let's get into the stats. We expect Aldo to have the better striking and Marab to beat him out in the grappling department. It's important to consider that Aldo has faced a much higher level of competition compared to Davalashvili. Now, let's get into it. In terms of volume, Aldo lands 3.61 significant strikes per minute, but surprisingly, Marab lands more, a whopping 4.26 significant strikes per minute. The King of Rio does have a higher accuracy though, he lands at a 46% clip, 5% higher than Marab's 41. Now let's discuss the striking defense. Davalashvili's wrestling presence makes him absorb less strikes than Aldo. He absorbs 2.28 significant strikes per minute, while Jose absorbs 3.74. Their defense percentage is identical at 60%, so despite facing worse competition than Aldo, Marab is still doing a pretty good job at keeping up with the striking of the legend. The big discrepancy between the two fighters comes in their power. Aldo has 17 KO TKOs in his 31 victories, meaning more than half of his wins come via knockout. 10 of those were in the UFC and WEC. Marab, on the other hand, only has three knockouts to his name, with the only one in the UFC being his last win over Marais. Grappling. Let's get into the grappling where Davalashvili opens up with an incredible statistic. The Georgian lands an incredible 7.3 takedowns per 15 minutes. Aldo is down at 0 .51. <laughs> yeah, that's a giant difference. One thing to consider with Marab's takedowns though, is the fact that his opponents tend to get back up relatively easy, which means he takes his opponents down and keeps going after they get back up, therefore upping his takedown average. Marab does fail with his takedown sometimes, but he keeps going. This is why his takedown accuracy is down at 45%, while Aldo's is up at a healthy 54% rate. The Brazilian's takedown defense is also up at a staggering 90%, while Marab's is at 78%. Now we don't expect from Marab to need to use takedown defense, but Aldo certainly will. And if he can neutralize Marab's main weapon, he can unleash his striking arsenal on him. In terms of submissions, Aldo attempts 0.2 subs per 15 minutes, while Marab attempts 0.3. Both fighters only have one submission on the record, both on the regional scene. Aldo has an arm triangle choke to his name, while Marab has an arm bar. Prediction. This is quite a tough fight to predict because even though there aren't many scenarios, it's tough to tell whose game plan will prevail. As usual, Marab's strategy is probably going to be wrestling while Aldo will try to outstrike the Georgian and maybe even get a knockout. While Marab has shown that good takedown defense doesn't bother him and that he will keep repeatedly trying for takedowns, he has struggled with getting opponents to the ground previously. This was shown in the Dotson fight. Marab only landed two out of his 20 takedown attempts. Bear in mind, Dotson used to be a flyweight, and Aldo was actually coming down from featherweight. It will be harder to take the bigger man down, and the fact that his takedown defense is up at 90% only makes it harder than the machine. In terms of striking, Aldo doesn't have to worry about Marab's knockout power, but his signature kicks might be thwarted by the Georgian's takedown threat, especially body kicks. Aldo is fast and he hits hard. His striking technique is definitely superior to Marab's, but Davalashvili has never been knocked out. The closest he's come to that is in his last fight against Marais. The question of this fight is which style will prevail. Will Aldo have striking success and beat Marab out in a decision win, or will Davalashvili manage to use his grappling effectively. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Who would you guys put your money on? Drop your fight predictions in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe to never miss an Athlete Central video. Until next time.